Hey everyone, it's Stephanie Everett from the Suburban Chateau. Now you guys all know that I really struggle with organization, but about three years ago, I got totally hooked on the Marie Kondo method of folding. And when I watched all of her shows back to back, I couldn't find one succinct place to find all the folding that I needed for the Suburban Chateau. So one of the big things we do here is towels. I'm gonna to show you quickly how to fold hand towels and bath towels. I'm gonna to show you really quickly, the other one I use a lot is just for the underwear drawer and it makes it so nice and succinct. We'll do socks, we'll do stockings, we'll do um, chemicals, cause I use that a lot and a lot of those things go in a drawer. And the biggest one for me is t-shirts. So I'm gonna show you kind of rapid fire, a bunch of folding techniques and uh, these are things that I just sort of gathered from all over the internet. We're gonna put them in one spot. So I hope you enjoy. And uh, I'll show you some of my drawers too. They still look great. And it is one of those things that I find is very satisfying every time I do it. And I'm so excited. This is something I'm passionate about. And um, it's not my natural nature to be so organized. And uh, it's, I find this to be incredibly soothing. So hopefully you'll really enjoy it and um, I couldn't do without it now. So um, enjoy some folding techniques. So I'm gonna do some bath towels first because it's something I do all of the time. So super easy. Now with the Marie Kondo method, I'm just gonna suggest that if you can remember the, the two separate things that you need, usually one of the folds is in thirds and if it's something like jeans or a bath towel, you fold it in half first. Some of the things like t-shirts, you fold it in thirds first, but just sort of remember that the finishing touch is always in thirds. So I'm gonna show you um, right here and then I'll do an aerial view as well of the bath towel so you can see exactly how to fold this. So the first thing I'm going to do is fold it in half, okay? And then I'm gonna fold it in half again. Okay, so it looks just like this. And then I'm gonna start, I'm gonna flip it. Here I am at the two ends that are together. And I'm just gonna do thirds from this point on. There you go. And then you can stack. Hand towel, just like the bath towel. So again, I'm gonna fold it in half wrong sides together, right side out. Okay, one long piece, this gets folded in half. Okay, just like if you were gonna, sometimes you do hang yours like this on your rack. And then I just take it, top sides together, fold in thirds. And then I can set it any way I wanna fold it and keep it. So easy. Next, I'm gonna show you jeans. So jeans, um, right out of the washer, I zip them up, make sure they're all ready to go. Now I'm going to fold those in half, get the legs together, and set them down. Very much like the towel, the next thing we do is fold in half again. So fold in half again. And then, very much like the bath towel, we're gonna fold in thirds. I use the waistband as the top. And then you can stack like that. Next I have the t-shirt. T-shirt I use a lot. So here's my t-shirt, fresh out of the wash. This is one of our greats uh, promoting our planetarium at school. So if you ever wanna do something fun in Holidaysburg, go to our planetarium. So, all right, so I've got my, I've got my t-shirt here ready to go. I get it all lined up and I'm gonna set it down in front of me. And just sort of get all the little bumps and bumps out of it. This is so fast. I'm going to bring the one side forward and I'm going to fold in the sleeve. I'm gonna bring the top side to meet. Then I have one long piece. From there, I'm gonna fold in half. I go to the top and I fold in thirds and then they just fit right in your drawer. And the cool thing about this is you can see what the writing is on your t-shirt and you know which t-shirt you have. So cool. Okay, here's the camisole, one of my favorites because I store these in drawers. So you're gonna get your camisole all lined up 
and you're gonna have the back facing you as you lay it down. Again, just like the t-shirt, we're gonna fold it in third. So I bring the bottom up, I bring the top down, and I just always tuck the straps down in so that when I fold, they'll get stuck inside. I bring the bottom to the top, fold in half, and then I go to my loose edge and fold in thirds. And there you have it. They fit beautifully in the drawer and I can store so many and I can see what color and they look amazing and I pull them out and I know exactly where they are and I can do it in color coordination and it's, it's amazing. Folding is so great. Underwear. I was really curious about how to do this. And um, so you're gonna lay the underwear in front of you. You're gonna bring the bottom up to the waistband works for men's and women's underwear. Everybody works the same. You bring the left side in one third and bring the right side in one third. You fold it in half and it tucks right in the drawer. So fast and easy. So for socks, you lay the socks together, you fold them in half and fold them in thirds again and they fit beautifully in your drawer. So for stockings, I find them to be a bit of a challenge. You're gonna want to lay the stockings flat with the legs together and get all the lumps and bumps out of them. And then the first step is to fold them in half, bringing the feet to the waistband. Fold them in half once more. And then starting at the waistband, you're going to fold in thirds. And you're gonna end up with a nice, neat little packet. So I hope you enjoyed our little folding tutorial. You've got camisole, you've got t-shirt underwear, you've got hand towels, bath towels, and of course jeans. Those are some of the things that I fold and store in my drawers and it really helps me to keep things from being a tangle and a jungle when I'm storing. I also really enjoy folding. Like I find it a really relaxing time. Oftentimes I'll just set my iPad up with a YouTube video or something and watch while I'm folding. The time goes by beautifully and um, I'm just so thrilled with the how everything looks when it's in the drawer. So um, I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you've gotten a little bit of an insight into some great folding techniques. Thanks so much again and join us again at the Suburban Chateau.